What an affair. Centigrade, take one. Oh, great. We're going to need a translator for the slates. Hold it a moment, everybody. Keep rolling. What are we holding for? Birds. What birds? A flock flew by a moment ago. It looked great. What makes you think these birds are coming back, Zachary? I can feel it in my gut, Logan. Dad! Cut the damn camera! I've got a feeling in my gut, too. A sinking feeling that we're going to be over budget on the very first setup. On the last picture, they were like wild dogs. We didn't come to Greece to go bird watching, Zachary. So if you please, Madam Director, would you get your ass in gear and get the camera rolling? Birds or no birds? on the tray. Oh, Zach, you can see them. No one else can. Lights! It's embarrassing, Logan. Oh, for Pete's sake, Zach, will you calm down? No one of average intelligence can see anything. You didn't notice any strings, did you, Snookums? Oh, no, I didn't see anything, Bobo. Tell it's from Gay Perry. Oh. Let's see my little cream puff. Oh. About the bathroom set. A real airplane bathroom is just too tight. Could you build me a bigger one, perhaps with some windows? Whatever you want, Chief. One loo with a view coming up. Ah, ah, Jesus Crackers. What's the matter? 
Oh, Logan, don't tell me the money fell through. No, those idiot actors, they missed the plane. And the airline refused to permit Scotty's fiance to bring her pussy aboard. How rude. Dinner time. Here you go, baby Rambo. You're on your Rax, you're not gonna believe this. Listen to this stuff. All right, man, what's next? Hit me. As Scotty opens the bathroom door, a gust of wind whips his hair to and fro. Oh. <laughs> What happens next? Check, check this out. The plane shutters, starts doing barrel rolls in a fantastic aerial orgasm. That is sick. The women in this script are just tits and ass with nothing but sex on their minds. I mean, is that really what you want? Yes, please. Well, then you can have it. Both of you. Morgan. Great. Thanks, pal. I'm sorry, man. I didn't know she was so sensitive. She isn't exactly thrilled that our co-stars are going to be topless half the time. But not that I intend to use this movie to entice gorgeous young females to abuse my overdeveloped body. Right. Where are you going? To apologize to a gorgeous young female who I have to be engaged to. Scott, what are you doing? Morgan, we have to talk. About what? The movie. Look, I think you're confusing me with the character I play in the film. I'm not a dumb surfer kid who walked off the beach with a surfboard and a heart on. I know that. It's just that for the past few months, we've, we've been alone, and now I have to share you. Share me? <laughs> Morgan, love, would I have given you this if I didn't intend on staying true? You're the only woman I want. Oh, Scotty. You make me just want to throw you down and jump on your bones. <laughs> oh, honey. Oh, baby pie. Come on, man, cool out. Open in. What for? Come on, open in. 
it's, it's obviously unnecessary. I mean, oh, hold on. You're on a power trip, right? I get it. Just don't mess up my sh shirt. What is this? Ah, this is obviously not my suitcase. Can you believe that? Drugs in my surfboard. Yeah, I know. Like, you'd have put them in such an obvious place. Really? Okay, everybody, that's a wrap. Crew bus leaves in half an hour. Casting Daddy, cookie comes Daddy, in. Daddy, oh, 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 What has he got that we haven't got? Looks, charm, hit TV series. Holy oh, shit. This is real. Are you ready to go? Ready? <laughs> sure, I've got a headache, my shoulder feels separated, and I'm bored out of my mind. I guess you're ready to go. <laughs> Excuse me, officers, but that's not real. It's just a prop for the movie, you understand? Movie? You understand? Movie. 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 <laughs> it's just parsley. Oof. Cookie! Look at those silly cops. They think the kids are smoking real pot. <laughs> they are. I told Bruce to get the real stuff. You what? Doesn't smell anything like grass. Here, here, take this back to the prop truck, please. from my agents. Ah! Cookie, come along. We have script changes. Montino, I need you presto. I'm sorry, sir, but well, there's nothing else I can do. Look, you can't put all three of us in one room. That's what your reservation go for. Take it or leave it. Anybody. <laughs> Not permanently. How about taking on Rags as a roommate and helping me out? I want to get girls in my room, man. Not scare them away. <laughs> well, I think I'll leave you two lovebirds alone for a while. Thanks, buddy. Yep. Hey, Carl Nasby. When did you get in? Hey, son. Just flew in after 14 and a half hours in a seat designed for a chimpanzee. <laughs> well, then come on downstairs so we can toss down a couple of ice cold beers. Well, I'm not quite feeling human yet. Tomorrow's my first day of shooting. I better get a little sleep. Good night. Right. Greg? Hi, Mrs. Logan. Welcome to Greece. Thank you. Tell me, have you seen my husband around? Uh, not recently. Banging in my door. Who's banging it? Oh, what a surprise if it isn't my little wifey. Kiss, kiss. Li darling, uh, just let me straighten up a bit. Make some room for you, huh? Wait, 
Mr. Bookie, you'll get those sheets changed. I mean, the uh, script sheets changed, right? Oh, yes, yes, so right away. Oh, oh, I'm sorry. Oh, that's sorry. okay. You need some help? No, I'm okay. Thank you. Work, oh. <laughs> oh. work, 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 work. Oh, are we a little cranky? Well, it's been a long trip. I know, I know, I know. I love you. I love you. <laughs> this place isn't so bad. I mean, it may not be the Ritz. At least it's clean. <sighs> What's wrong with baby Rambo? Uh, nothing. Just jet lag. Oh, God, I feel like grief right shit. Probably that joint you ate. Getting a budget. <gasps> oh, my God! Morgan, what is it? My period is two days late. Big deal. I missed a few pills last month. So? I'm PG. I'm prego. My God, I've been knocked up. Are you sure this isn't a hysterical reaction from the grass? Hysterical reaction? I'm pregnant and you're calling me hysterical? Our baby is growing inside my womb and you accuse me of being an emotional basket case. I didn't say that. But you implied it. Like horse shit. Like horse shit? Come on, baby oh, doll. Don't. I don't deserve this kind of abuse. What do I have to do? Get on my hands and knees? Maybe. Oh, it feels so good to hold you. Just the three of us together. Mm. You know what, honey? What? I think maybe we shouldn't make Nookie Nookie for a while. Why not? Oh, just to be safe. You know, we're in the family way. Oh, darling, isn't it wonderful? <laughs> mm. Man, another hour in the sun and my nose will be fried. Bring your nose coat? Yeah. Hey, buddy, we gotta face reality here. Pennies don't start dropping from heaven, we're gonna have to get jobs. Oh, please, God, anything but that. Who's this? Is? Thank you, Jesus. Save from the minimum wage. Put it back, man. This isn't ours. Scotty, dude, we're in Europe. I mean, miracles happen all the time over here. <sighs> That's pretty lame, dude. Look, we'll find the rightful owner and maybe we'll get a cash reward. <laughs> Sure change since I dropped out. Gentlemen, I'm Ms. Rollins, the chief administrator. May I help you? Uh, yes, uh, Sean Kingsley. Oh, Mr. Kingsley, thank God you've arrived. We've been holding the boat for you. And this must be your private tutor. That's me, Professor D.W. Rags, PhD, MBA, DDS, DDT, LSD, and ABC. Look, Miss Rollins, my name is not Sean, it's Scotty. Scotty? Uh, it's his middle name. Sean Scott Kingsley. You see, he uses it when he travels incognito. You understand? Of course. The son of a billionaire can't be too careful. Son of a... Now, if you'll excuse me, I'll tell the captain we're ready to cast off. Rags, we can't do this. This is crazy. Don't be such a squid, dude. Besides, it's educational. Rich 
handsome American we were waiting for? Bingo! Now, didn't we meet somewhere before, like, maybe in a past life? This son of a bitch is a floating tax write-off. <laughs> Boy, it's sure good to see you, son. Hell, I get hung over just thinking about old times. We sure did raise a lot of hell, didn't we? <laughs> you know, we don't mind you and Rag for being yeah. on board, as long as we come to a little understanding. Anything you say, Chief. Be on time, time for class, class and do, do your homework. where they worship Rhodos, the lovely nymph and daughter of Poseidon, built in the third century BC. According to Pindar, Helios, the god of the sun, fell in love with the nymph Rhodos on sight and decided to marry her. Okay, sucker, this time wait for Papa. restored statue of Rhodos, the lovely nymph. Even today, centuries after she was chiseled out of rock, we're still struck by her incredible beauty. Cut. Cut it. I can't get it up for this scene. Well, what's the matter, cupcakes? The script calls for me to gaze lovingly into her eyes. How can I? She's headless. He seems to want a little head, Madam Director. Sorry, look, I'm an actor. I need something to help me fulfill this moment. How's about 5,000 bucks a week, butt face? Listen, honey buns, until we cast the part of Rhodos the nymph, we can't cast the head. Hey, Scotty, is this what you need? Ragos the nympho. Nympho. Oh! <laughs> an hour late. Get your keister in here. It's pretty hard to wake up quickly on your only day off. <laughs> oh, I think you'd be well rested, sugar buns, after sleepwalking through all your scenes. Just following your inspiring direction. Come on, come on, come on. Let's get cracking. If we don't find our nymph today, tomorrow we are screwed. Who are those guys? Well, those are our investors. And they're very good people, Scott. Doctors, lawyers, dentists. Fletches. I just love investors. Yes, I know you do, dear. Uh, Cookie, perhaps you could trot out the first young lady? Coming right up, Bobo. Janae Pilatus. This is our director and producer and his wife. Um, Janae is wearing a bathing suit underneath her dress, and she wanted to know whether or not you wanted to see her body before or after the reading. I think before. Sounds professional to me. Definitely. Dude, what's wrong? Lauren's punishing me. No nookie. Why? When she told me she wasn't pregnant, I was so happy a French kiss the maid. <laughs> Thank you, Janae. A plus. Now let's hear your reading. Am I really awake? Let me pinch myself. If you love me, open those lovely lips and tell me in your own sweet voice. 
Words of love are only words. Therefore, think carefully before you answer me. Are you really in love with me, or is it just with my body? Your body. Next. <laughs> Words of love <laughs> are only words. Therefore, think carefully before you answer me. <laughs> are you really in love with me? Or just with my body? My body. My body. My body. 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 How about Monique Monet? She wasn't so bad. She wasn't so bad. She can't even say her name and make it sound real. That's because it's not. Can I get you anything else? Oh, just coffee, my dear. Coffee. Make it three? Nothing, just some water. Please. Three coffees and one water. Thank you. Good luck, my dear. I got it. We make her a poor little mute girl. That way she can look great and she doesn't have to say a bloody word. Well, I suppose the love scenes will be done in sign language. Yeah, it's just like ordering dinner in a sushi bar. I mean, he points at everything he wants. <laughs> Excuse me. Excuse me, are you an actress? <laughs> no, I'm the waitress. So are most the actresses I know. Would you mind reading these lines of dialogue with me? I told you, I'm not an actress. Please, uh, I'll leave you a big tip. Want a glass of water? Come on. Okay, but only if you promise to quit bothering me. All right, look, I'll read this and then I'll cue you. If you love me, let me know by opening those lovely lips and tell me in your own sweet voice. Words of love are just words. Therefore, think carefully before you answer me. Are you really in love with me or just with my body? There, okay? Okay, that was more than okay. That was really good. You didn't even tell me your name. Cleopatra, but I go by Cleo. So, Cleo, how would you like to be in a movie? How does it end? Very happily. I mean, do I end up taking off my clothes and jumping into bed with you? That's right, how'd you know? I've been in that movie. It doesn't end happily. Hey, I'm serious. We're trying to cast the lead in a film. You'd be perfect. You guys, I just read her and she's great. Try telling that to my stepfather. <laughs> Oh, what a fine-looking citizen. Well, my dear, perhaps you'll take off your read for us? Please, try to understand. I don't even go to the movies, and I have no desire to be in one. I'm just a student working to save some money for college. Now, I'm flattered that you ask, but there's really nothing you can say to change my mind. How about 150,000 drachmas a week? Perhaps the most outstanding example of the Ionic Order is the Erechtheum, located in the Acropolis. At the southern portico of the Erechtheum is the famed Porch of the Maidens, known for its six sculpted caryatids. These female figures, dating from the 5th century BC, act as columns, supporting an entablature on their heads. Oh man, we have a Porch of Maidens here and I am Erechtheum. <laughs> Speaking of checking out.
demons way down deep inside me stirred and called for my surrender. And I lost another battle. The weakness of the flesh has won again. Very good. Hey, Cleo, wait up. You were really good today. <laughs> How do you like making movies? Honestly, it was the most boring day of my life. What a waiting around with nobody to talk to but actors. <laughs> Sorry, princess. I guess actors are beneath some of your noble birth. Oh, you don't understand. Fran, just please, Fran, that's all. And you, Mr. Papa Pepperland, out, out. I want you out. I will not tolerate this trashy, sexist behavior on my set. You are finished. I have a contract. You can do it. Oh, you have a contract, do you? Well, I invoke the morals clause on your contract. Oh, shit. The morals clause? What's going on? Logan caught Mr. B -B Pippolus with his hand in the cookie jar. <laughs> Herbert? You're through. Shoot, shoot, shoot your history. Shoot. Logan, you just fired one of my supporting leads, and he has to work again tomorrow. Replace the degenerate. On one day's notice? How? Oh, throw a souvlaki sandwich into any crowd. Anyone you hit will be a better actor than that turkey. Mom, get in! See you later, princess. Look, Scott, I didn't mean to be a snob. I'm just feeling uneasy for what we're doing. If my stepfather hears that we have a nude scene together, he lock me up and come after you with a knife. Why is it that every time I see that man, he has a weapon in his hand? Maybe it's a sign. Thanks for your help today. mad at me that I did not expect to find you in war paint. Are you making fun of my avocado mask? Me? Make fun of that? It looks pretty stupid. Morgie, I was only kidding. Look, if you want to know the truth, that guacamole on your face really turns me on. Oh, yeah, sure. Hey, little girl. I'm Dr. Dan, and I make house calls. Naughty girl, have you been cleaning your ears? Mm -hmm. God, he don't. <laughs> he know what that does to me. That's why Dr. Dan is doing it. <laughs> oh, guess what? I ran out of birth control pills. I was you without them. Oh, honey, do we care? I guess that's your answer, huh? And I thought you loved me. Morgan, let's not fight. We can hold off making love until you get some more pills. In the meantime, Dr. Dan could use a little physical therapy, if you know what I mean. God. Oh. Morgan, you don't know what it's like on the set all day, surrounded by these beautiful girls with beautiful bodies. Come on, reach out and touch someone. Me. Oh, I got you. So while you lie back and daydream about all those great-looking bodies, Morgie here does all the dirty work, right? Come on, Dr. Dan just needs a little relief. You need relief, honey? Take two of these and call me in the morning. I'm taking you back. Morgan.
next rub down. Mirax, please. No, me. Mirax, my skin is so dry. Please, Rax, please do me, Max. Oh, but Rax, I was before her. The bed, honey, I just did you. You did my back, not my front. Thank you, Lord. See you again. Come away with me. Come, come to the disco tonight. Shoot it. Just kidding. Next setup, the desert insert. Where the hell is Sean? Somebody find me, Sean! You know, I think he's off learning his lines. Well, he doesn't have any lines. Dig it, babe. <laughs> hey, princess, what's with the long face? I think just that in spite of my better judgment, I'm beginning to like you. Well, it's a good thing you don't love me. You'd probably commit suicide. I've never had a crush on a playboy before. Playboy? What makes you think I'm a playboy? Hey, it's Scotty. Maybe it's because she's heard all the banging and screaming coming from your dressing room. I mean, everybody else sure has. Sex and travel. See ya. Gotta roll. You don't believe him, do you? Cut me some slacks, will you? I don't believe everything I hear. I'm here. Let's shoot this puppy. Where have you been, Sean? Get out there! Hello, Mrs. Logan. Oh, hello, dear. How are you today? Wonderful. Tell me something. Has there ever been a time in your life when you haven't been wonderful? Not so far. Everybody ready? Roll, fans! Camera! Action! Much a sense of humor. That's because what you did was not funny. Oh, and I suppose what he did was. No. Actually, you're both behaving like children. If you think it's impressing me, you couldn't be more wrong. Hey, uh, don't forget you're spoken for, son. 
Have you ever been in love with two women at once? Not in this incarnation. <laughs> Hell yeah, several times. I just never let my left ball know what my right ball's doing. <laughs> so we're juggling lovely, are we, Scotty? Uh, I don't know what to do. Yeah, I'll move to Saudi Arabia. Legal there. Liquid libations, are not. Mm. Well, that would be hell, wouldn't it? Stuck in a dungeon with two women and no liquor. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so the casting dude says, I'm sorry, but we're looking for the Robert Redford type. And I say, dude, that's incredible. He's my father. In fact, that's where I got my blonde hair. I love your hair. It's so spiky. Do American girls like spiky hair? Oh, hell yeah. I mean, spiky hair and earrings, serious turn on. I'll drink to that. Hey, All right. baby. Bottles of Dom Perignon in a funnel right away, huh? And uh, why don't we plan on getting together later on? We're close at midnight and I do the dishes. Would you rather do the dishes or do me? The dishes? Less grease. What the hell did you find these guys, Logan? They look like a gaggle of pussycats. <laughs> Would you really be frightened if this guy kidnapped your wife? Oh, yeah. I'd be frightened for him, poor bastard. <laughs> Couple of nights with Lana, driver got bananas or turned him into some other kind of fruit. <laughs> I'm serious, dick brain. The role of the kidnapper is critical. We've got to find someone who looks real. Real? Oh, you want real way. You're going to get real. Uh, could you come over here, please, Dimitri? Here, come in. Ooh. <laughs> Darling, you're not going to believe the bargains I got. Everything in the whole marketplace was on sale. And you bought it all. <laughs> you know, the thing I just love about shopping here is the money just doesn't look real. You can just spin and spin and spin, and it's like confetti. Oh, oh, somewhere here, I've got something for you. The bill. Oh, oh, here it is, darling. I ran into Sean, and he helped me pick it out. Hi, Sean. It's one of a kind. What do you think? It certainly is one of a kind. <laughs> Not many people know how to make them babies. <laughs> Sean helped pick that out? Mm-hmm. I'll, I'll have to find a unique way of thanking him. You, you don't like it, do you? You hate it, I can tell. It's beautiful. I, I love it to death. Well, let me tell you something, bucko. You know, it's not easy being stuck over here with nothing to do all day. You know, I'd go crazy if I couldn't go out and do a little shopping now and then. Morgan, it's just that you're going through our money faster than I can make it. And I suppose my sanity is only worth $50 a week. Or maybe $75. Good old Morgan, just, just lock her up in the hotel room and throw away her credit cards. Is that it? Well, I don't have to take that kind of abuse from anybody. You know, I'll, I'll wire Daddy for money if I have to. He knows how delicate and sensitive I am. Here, take your gold card and shove it up your wallet. I'll survive somehow. Morgan, it's... Son, I got a feeling she's blowing the tires off your credit card. Next time, better leave home without it. <laughs>
last night? What? I dreamed we were dancing together just like this. So, this dream of yours. What happens next? Next, I say, hey, let's blow this joint and watch the sunrise. I'd love to, but my father would never allow it. Funny, that's what you said in the dream. And then I said, hey, let's just sneak out the back door. I wish we could, but my body boss watch every move I make. Well, in my dream, this is where I point out to you that your two gorillas are blotto over there in the corner. <laughs> I have. In my dreams, and believe me, it's worth it. <laughs> hey, you don't happen to know where the semester at C group is, do you? I, I, I heard a couple of the guys are in here. The only guy I want is Sean Kingsley. <laughs> That's me. I'm, I'm, I'm Sean Kingsley. Listen, gay boy. It's 24 bottles of champagne. It's 280,000 drachmas without tip. It's ridiculous. I don't have that kind of money. Well, I hope you have a gold tip. Ah! I want to be a director. Stranger things have happened. Really? You think so? Yeah. One or two. <laughs> Don't I get any lunch money, Daddy? Thank you, darling. A good boy deserves a good kill. Morgan, <laughs> not here, okay? Who's that girl over there? You mean you don't know? That's Scott's fiance. First team, let's go. I'm the double before we lose this light. Let's man the oars, slaves. Oh, you, you're still angry at me from last night, aren't you? No. Then prove it and give Margie back the gold card. Here, you have it all. Are you satisfied? I will be, as soon as the stars open. <laughs> Get it! <laughs> all right, kitty pies. This is where you're kissing and the two gorillas come after you. This will be a master, ready? Okay, picking up where we left off. Just wait until she calls action, okay? Roll sound! Camera! Uh, for the third, shot the one, the 50, take one! Action!
More mud, Brucey, more mud! Zachary, what is your preoccupation with mud? May I remind you we are making a motion picture, not a mud pie. Listen, Logan, this is the big fight scene where Sean finally catches up with Scotty. Can't you see the mud is very symbolic? Oh, of course it's symbolic. It's symbolic of how much money can be wasted shooting all this Boob McNutt intellectual crap. Now, you get that camera of yours rolling in five minutes, or I'm going to start tearing pages out of your script. Scooter Pie, find me some inserts to shoot. Oh, yes, sir. Come here. Thank you. Oh, you're welcome, Mrs. Logan. What are you thanking me for? Oh, for blocking my sun. I love sunbathing with no sun. Oh, glad to be of help. I should have stayed in pork bellies. Mr. Logan! Mr. Logan! Yes, Dimitri. I brought the Mutro. You want it. Mutro, Mutro. Did I want a Mutro? For kidnap. Bang, bang. Oh, yes, yes, the kidnapper. And we need him for the first scene tomorrow. What have you brought me? Sugar cookie? I think so. We still need an insert of the chainsaw cutting the surfboard in half. Pull the chainsaw and surfboard from props! Right away, Chief. You wait here. I'll be right back, you little ginger snapper, you. Hello. Hi. You know, I, I, I know it's none of my business, but I, I think that I should warn you about Sean. Suppose you're gonna tell me that he's a liar and a cheat, is that it? Yeah, how'd you know? I guess it takes a liar to know a liar. Hey, Cleo, what are you talking about? I'm talking about the lies you've been spreading about us. Telling everybody that we slept together? I never said that. There are a lot of things you never said. By the way, congratulations on your engagement. You two deserve each other. Cleo. Cleo, all you have to do is take your gun. You know gun? Gun. And aim at that boy over there and abduct him. Think you can handle that? Θέλει να χρησιμοποιήσει το όπλο σου. Δηλαδή να τον πυροβολήσω. Mm -hmm. Κοίτα, εγώ δεν έχω ξαναρίξει, αλλά μπορώ. Άμα υπάρχει πολύ κομμαλή. Money, money. He'll do whatever you want. If money, good enough. Oh, a tough negotiator, huh? <laughs> <laughs> Which side of the board did they cut up, love? The right or the left? The right. Or was it the left? told Cleo I was bragging about sleeping with her. Now, who'd do a thing like that? Good, perfect. Now, wait a moment. You start. When you bring the left, bow inside completely. From the beginning. Come on. Good? More, more. <sighs> what? Ten percent of the gross? Oh, come on. For the measly little part of the kidnapper, outrageous. No. Veca, ten. Ten. He wants ten percent. Of what you make of him is only fair. 
Oh, I see what you mean. Why, I make off him like merchandising, like kidnapper dolls and posters and all that crap. Oh, well, no problem. Why didn't you say so in the first place? Να μας πει και για ποιο λόγο θέλει να κάνει την απαγωγή. He wants to know why you want the boy kidnapped. Why? Oh, he's a method actor, of course, because the boy's father is a billionaire. Billionaire? He's worth a hundred and fifty billion drachmas. You want to be a director, my little Twinkie? Make this shot while I go see how the fight scene's coming. Really? You want me to direct this shot? Gee, I don't know what to say. Try saying action. <coughs> Just because you couldn't get in her pants doesn't mean that I won't. Cleo's not that stupid, yeah? Just leave your window open tomorrow night. You'll hear us. <coughs> I'll hear her slap your ugly face. <laughs> yeah, with the inside of her thighs. Hey, I told you. Distance. Are you okay? Son of a bitch. <laughs> Pituitary must be wired to the stock market. Each day we're both hitting new highs. <laughs> Carlton Ashby, my wife and two young sons. Howdy. Logan, you run it on the set. Oh, well, 
you're wanted on my lap. Oh, how I've missed my milk and cookies. Mm. Cut it out, Mr. Logan. It's not right. Oh, but it feels so good. Face it, Mr. Logan. It's reality. God, how I hate reality. Boss. Oh, come out. Come out into the light where I can see you. Yes, not bad, not bad. A Don Corleone you will never be, but for a Mutro you'll do. <laughs> Brucey! I got the kidnapper here. Get his gun and ammo right away, will you? Make it snappy. Right away, Chief. Now, the kids are going to come down the gangplank, and you're going to abduct them right here. Good, good. Now, you see the boat over there? Barca. Yes, that's the getaway boat. First time it's ever been done. Fresh idea, no? Yes. Hey, Logan, you're holding up the whole damn company! Bitch. Piece of cake for a Muthro like you. Break a leg! <laughs> Ooh, here we are. Regular 38 quarter loads. Personally, half loads hurt my ears. Why didn't you tell me you're already equipped? In a 45, I see you're a man who likes big pistols. I know I do. Why is it great living on a boat? Now, I find it convenient as hell. No matter how much beer you drink, you only gotta go 10 steps in any direction to pee. <laughs> You always in the water hell you can't miss. It's sort of like living in a giant toilet bowl, ain't it? I'd like to propose a merger, Princess, between two of the richest multinationals on Earth. Toi and moi. Oh, Jean, this is so unexpected. I don't know what to say. In the language of love, words are obsolete. Jean! Oh. Hey, you Billy Joe! Walk the plank, man. Hey, out of here, dude. He's explaining that you two are in violation of the International Seamen's Code. International Seamen's Code? Get real. Hey, cut it up. Hey, what's this? It's a proper flotation device. Slow down, man. Much less their liquor. <laughs> hey, Savannah. You're not so fast there, sport. Gun, the hurtling of the bullets towards me. Snap out of it, will you, Zachary? 
You know, sometimes reality is so phony. The reality is we have one more day to shoot this turkey, and our stars have been Shanghai. The ransom note just came. They're demanding 50 big ones. 50? Thousand dollars. No, 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 $50,000, Mr. Logan. $50 million. It says here, $50 million in cash tonight. But we cut off his fifty. Oh. for bringing home guests without telling her first. Pare do, ti scupa? Scupise to patame. Ego pa na laxo se kate tis prokopis. Ade li po scupise, scupise. Rich. You, me, Rich. Rich. I know you, TV. Scott Allen Palmer. That's me, right. <laughs> right, right here in the flesh. you like green? It's great. I hope I can come back and visit sometime if I, if I make it out of here alive. I, too, am actress. You're an actress? Of course. I, I should have known. H have I seen your work? You want to see my work? Yeah, yeah, sure, sure. We'd love to see your work, wouldn't we, Cleo? Yeah, sure. Like me can only take so much. I need to be held. I need to be touched like a woman, not like a cow. Make love to me now, here on the floor by the fire. Or else, or else I'll kill myself with this little dagger. Yeah, yeah, very nice. Yeah. Was that more Medea? I think it was Suella from Dallas. Now that I have bared my naked soul to you, you must give me something I want very badly. Your autograph? Getting pretty quiet over there, Princess. Don't call me that, okay? This whole thing has been nothing but drags. These Jews are killing me. I... Ah, oh, God. I can't go on. Come on, up and at them. Oh, Scott, I can't. I can't walk with shoes. I can't walk without them. I don't know what to do. Can you sing? Sing? Sure, a little bit. Why? Just to pass the time. Come on. One, two, three. Quel mazzolin di fiori che vien dalla montagna. Quel mazzolin di fiori che vien dalla montagna. Quel mazzolin di fiori che vien dalla montagna. Vada beh che non si bagni, perché lo devo regalar, 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 regalar. Lo devo regalare perché è un bel mazzetto. Lo devo regalare perché è un bel mazzetto. Non è venuto a me.
Morgan? Morgie? Scotty, dude, you're back! God, man, it's been a killer night. We didn't know whether we'd ever see you again. It's been quite an evening. Look, I'll tell you about it later. I'm looking for Morgan. Have you seen her? Oh, no, man, not since last night. Who's that hiding in your bed? <laughs> Ali, Ali, oxen free! <laughs> Well, as I live and breathe. Hey, uh, Carl, have you seen Morgan around? No, son, I can't say that I have. Mrs. Logan, I. <laughs> so you made it back in one piece. Well, I guess I could go and try to rouse the old goat and tell him the good news. The old goat? Logan, put the lights out last night with a couple of reds, and nature just sort of took its own course. Just like in the movies. <laughs> son. Familiar tinkle to that laugh. So, darling, did you miss me while I was gone? Where am I? Who are you? How did I get in here? Scott, I think I must have amnesia. Somebody must have drugged me or something. Morgie, love, you're in bed with another man. This is a little awkward. I don't know what to say, except thank you both. Scott, what are you doing? Repossessing my little piece of the rock. Uh, Scott, no! By the way, you guys look great together. Scotty, wait! Come back, Scotty! One last thing. I'm calling the police and reporting the gold cart stolen. Nighty-night. yourself that you're in love with Scotty the man, no matter what your father or anybody else has to say about it. I think I can relate to that. Good, good. Let's go for a take. Uh, for the affair, shot hundred, uh, uh, doo -doo. Uh, take on.
He's been bad. But life just swept me off my feet and galloped away with me. <laughs> oh, but, but you don't know what happened. You see, I've, I've been dumped in the dirt. Oh, Scott Morgan needs you, honey. It's too late for that. Is it too late for Dr. Dan? Wouldn't Dr. Dan like to make a house call? Scott and Cleo, get your butts out here. We're ready to shoot. Scott, no, 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 no. Please forgive me, please, Scott. Uh, at least give me my place. Caught in the act, you oversex, spiky haired little punk rocker. What's your problem, Logan? We were just saying goodbye. Goodbye. Goodbye? You're massaging your tonsils with your tongue. You call that goodbye? Oh, no. You're fired. Off. Off my set. You can't fire me. I'm done working. Besides, this is not your set. This is the airport. Oh, perfidious slut. Your history, too. Off my set. You're fired. Myopic little ditzoid. What did you call her? I called her a myopic little ditzoid. You want to make something of it? Let's just discuss it, Logan, okay? Okay. Oh! Let's go! All passengers are going to fly the hunter for New York City. Should not be on board. Okay, Kitty Pies, this is your dash to freedom. 
On action, I want you to start running towards that plane. Now, the gorillas are going to be coming from right behind, so you're going to have to haul ass. Yeah, man. 